The Memory Project began in 2018 in Besançon, France. Bien and Bon invited Brad Downing, an American artist living in Berlin, to curate their street art festival that year. Brad invited me to participate, and we began discussing the street project and a small catalog of my work. The concept of the memory folder is to function as a keepsake, like what would be the first thing you would grab in a disaster? Personal photographs, mementos, something to remember the precious moments of your life. The team in France consisted of David Duvaucher, artistic director of the festival, graphic designers Laura Boucher, and Bart Larzini. The project was printed in silkscreen, rhizography, laser printed, and hand shaped by Bart, assisted by volunteers at the Atelier Super Senior in 2019. I first began street work in 1968 when I painted the song title Ichiku Park in large white letters at 85th Street Gorman Playground in Jackson Heights. I did many stencil works here, including The Detective Show in 1978. The photograph of memory was taken by well-known graffiti and street art photographer Martha Cooper. I documented most of my projects with different media, color slides, audio, video, and film. Mortal Wound at St. James Church in New Jersey simulates a black and white photo contact sheet. The first component focuses on my stencil, The Remains of Industry in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, but recreated in French at the Rosiata factory where workers went on strike in 1967 over low wages. The following year, there were massive student demonstrations around the world known as May 68. The photo documentation homage takes the form of a stop motion flip book of destruction. Save Our School consists of three folded Lee Pirellos that encapsulate the 1980 work that Don Light and I did in the South Bronx. Don's bird feeders were small scale intimate painted sculpture for the children living in the neighborhood. My stencil messages were clear and concise. With help from the local community, this was our attempt to voice their concerns to the local, state, and federal officials. Stencils have been my primary tool for many decades. M is a 16 by 8 and a half inch poster reproduction of one of my spray painted stencil plates. This 40 page color photo booklet documents stencils that were done on cars, factories, buildings and abandoned properties between 1978 and 1983. The Warning Signs Project pointed out hazardous conditions that existed in the neighborhoods in New York, indicating areas and communities that needed construction, demolition, or reconstruction. Stencil projects such as decay and visual pollution were not intended to remain for a long time. 